Hello and welcome to another one of our videos. This is our 67 plate BMW 440i Grand Coupe. This has the eight speed automatic gearbox. The car's covered 27,290 miles with full service history. Now this car is finished in uh, a BMW individual color called Smoked Quartz. The individual colors uh, quite an expensive option. They range from anywhere from sort of like 1700 up to about 3000 pounds on the four series. They can be a much more expensive on the M cars as much as four and a half thousand pounds. So a really beautiful, classy color, these smoke to uh, topaz. And we've got some lovely extras on this car. So we're gonna take you around the car. The whole car has been detailed and machine polished to a beautiful shine on the car. Now I'm gonna come in to the front of the car. We've actually put some black gloss grills in the front here. We have the original grills, which we'll send out with the car. But you'll notice this has got the BMW Icon lights. Now, these are adaptive LED lights. I'll just show you just down here on the sign. Uh, sorry, on the side, the adaptive LEDs. These are a 1,200 pound option. This car's got about 7,000 pounds worth of op optional extras on it. I'll just move around the front for you. Now, when we wash over the cars, you can't always see everything. So we've we finished this car and then realized that we've got a couple of little chips just on the edge there. If I come to this side, Got a couple of little chips there. Now, after the weekend, I'm gonna decide if we actually have that done. I like to keep everything original, but I think that we can get uh, the front, uh, those sections done next week, hopefully. But uh, I'll make a decision on that after the weekend. So maybe just ask me if you're interested in the car and I'll speak to you about that. We've got front fog lights down at the front. We've got front parking sensors. If we come up onto the bonnet, again, on all these BMWs, you get some very tiny little specky little chips. You just catch a few in the light there. But overall, there's nothing big and nasty. It's just, just general wear and tear, really, which you're gonna get on the car. I'll just come up. There's nothing nasty on the bonnet and the windshield is in lovely condition. It's not all peppered or anything like that. There's no chips up here, nothing to speak of. A Couple of tiny minuscule chip just there, right in the middle. But no bird dropping stains or anything like that. Just come round, got a lovely shine. If I come in close, the color of this car changes with different light. All of the black gloss, I just point out, all this has been machine polished as well. Come out and have a look at the side of the car. Let's try and get... Like I say, it's darker in some... Color. It's a, I think it's like a pearlescent colour. It's got a, a slightly different tone to it. Or hue to it, maybe, is a better word. It's not musical, is it, after all? <laughs> Let's just come round the front again. I'll just show you this alloy. So we've got the 704M 19 inch alloy wheels, so the M Sport brakes, all of which are extras. And this wheel here. All Bridgestone tyres on the car. Just come round. I'll show you the car from this side. Just come back to give you a... Okay, let's come in and look at this wheel on this side. So all the wheels are in lovely condition, no marks. I'll take a look at the back wheel. If we come in close, if we look round the filler cap, no scratches there's no you know when we machine polish the cars any little hairline scratches that you get from washing your car over with a sponge all of that gets taken out all lovely and clean in there show up on the roof on this side 
got the sun protection glass at the back. If we come around, we've got the LED lights at the back as well. All the exhaust, all the trim at the bottom down there. It's all in nice condition as well. There's no scratches down there. We'll open the boot. We've got rear camera on this car. So we just bring you across nice and slowly so we can keep the focus. Let's turn this way. All of the rubbers. All nice and clean. Guys do a great job of making sure the cars are really nice and clean. We try and get the car almost like back to new if we can. All of the carpets in there, they look a lot lighter on the camera, but they're nice, nice deep color on the carpets. Obviously the seats drop down and then you've got a small parcel shelf here and then the larger one up there. And we've checked that, that's all in nice condition. And if we take a look, Underneath, all this is beautiful and clean. We've got the extended storage. And uh, we'll come to the interior in a second, but we've got the extended Merino leather, the individual Merino leather in opal white. So we'll come around to the passenger side. Let's just try and get a back corner shot. Let's try and get a focus on there. Just show you off on the top here. All lovely and shiny. So, we have the Harman Kardon sound system, which uh, comprises of 16 speakers. Lots of uh, extra speakers up on the top, just up here, in front of the navigation. So we have the individual black gloss BMW trim with the, I think it's called the pearl chrome finisher, the little metal bar at the top, and the merino leather, which is a proper hide. It's the top of the range leather that BMW do. It's above Napa, so it's the best quality that they do on the BMWs. And it's got like a plaited, try and get that in focus, plaited uh, leather on the top of the door card there and this contrasting stitching. Feels totally different to, uh, to, to touch. We've got electric seats, memory on the driver's side, the little rocker button at the back there will blow up the bolsters this side and that side to fit you in. And then you'll notice that the leather and the stitching and the plait that continues into the seat these seats are in absolutely immaculate condition. And you'll see there's a little badge here. BMW individual. You've got some nice piping which matches really well with the exterior of the car. And uh, I think that's a sliding armrest on this one. With the stitching to match. And the piping around the headrests. So a really nicely spec car, very classy. If you're watching the video at the moment and it's a bit blurry, it is in 4K, or if it's just gone up the video, um, give it another hour or so and it, uh, it will appear in 4K so you can change your settings to get a nice clear image. Take a look at the back door card here. Again, the Harman Kardon speakers. And we do have uh, puddle lights on all the doors as well. All of the seals, really nice. 
back of the headrest, the headrest tilt forward as well. The backs of the seats are not scratched either. And you'll notice the rear seats also in really beautiful condition. Just move nice and slowly here. You've got the drop down armrest. Obviously the seats fold down as well. We'll come around the other side in a second. That's the inside there. We've done the boot, so that's just come right round to the driver's side rear. So that's the door card there. I'm just scanning around. There's no marks on the door card. Again, the leather is in really beautiful condition. Really makes the car, um, when you sit in the car with the Marina leather, the suppleness of the leather, it feels different. It has a much classier feel to it. It's amazing how something like that can actually change the, the feel of the interior of the car. Just see the detail there of the seat. Just trying to concentrate on keeping this nice and smooth. While we're here, Look how nice that is. I'm just gonna lean in. All of this is in beautiful condition. We'll come to the front of the car in a minute, but sometimes it's just good to get a, a feel from back here. What the cabin looks like. There we go. Let's uh, go into the front. So as we move around, just gonna so we've got innovation pack on this car. The innovation pack, I'm just gonna turn these lights up, gets the heads up display, driving assistant, speed limit information. I think the online entertainment, so you've got a uh, subscription for the first three years. We've got the folding anti-dazzle mirrors, which auto dip as well. Depending which side you've got the little rocker button there, when you go into reverse, you can have it so it dips the near side mirror. You can fold the mirrors in with your key as well by pressing and holding the lock button. It's worth pointing out, got the um, anti-collision Let's just focus in on this if we can. So the one on the left is collision alert and the one on the right is the uh, lane assist. So the steering wheel will vibrate if you cross the white line. Got the memory seat for the driver's seat. Two memory positions there, one and two. And the bit that everyone would like to check is this section of the bolster as you can sometimes get wear on there, but that's all in lovely condition. So the seats, as you can see, I mean, we come out of the light, it's, it's not had any repairs or, or anything like that. This is as nice as you'll see really on a used car. And the armrest is sliding. And the other thing you get with the innovation pack is the wireless charging as well. So that's all in there. Okay, I'm going to into the car. We're going to start the car up. We've got the heads up display here. I'm just going to see if we can. Uh... Okay. So just where the grills are on that white car, you'll see the heads up display and I'm just flicking through radio channels you'll see the speed to the left and this will give you your navigation directions as well come down here let's just zoom out again so 27,290 miles when you turn off the heads up display which you can in the iDrive settings over here you've got full black panel, uh, panel display down here so if I go to displays 
on here and turn off the heads up display and then when we go into there you go we can now use everything here which is usually on the heads up we've got the music collection dab and if we press the phone it will show you the last dial calls so we'll just go back into menu and uh, turn that back on so back into displays heads up turn on so you can uh, choose the information that you want the heads up display Uh, show you uh, it's actually this one here there you go so speed limit info you can see on the picture on the right hand side basically it knows from the GPS what road you're on and it will give you the speed of the road so if you're unsure and you've got a police officer behind you you'll know what speed to keep to if we come out of there you can see you can adjust the brightness the height and the rotation so the sort of tilt left to right to come out of there now this is the touchscreen media if you use the iDrive wheel and press menu twice you'll see it show you a different display you can move ooh, let's try that again oh I beg your pardon it doesn't have the touchscreen on this one that's because I've just come out of a car with the touchscreen so let's go into we've got connective drive This is where you can subscribe to the BMW apps, etc. We go into my vehicle. Everyone's entitled to make a mistake, aren't they? Right, there we go. That's going to the service history. So this car is due um, a service. We're also going to check for the other service that it would have had done because uh, it's had a service done, um, which is what. We can tell from the mileage in here so the BMW dealer will find that for me and we'll try and get that uploaded into the car we've got the brake pads in here so we'll check all that that looks like they've all been done so we know it's had a service we just need to locate that it may be on the BMW um, website on the online system and it's not they've not been able to put it into the car but we might be able to do that so that's uh, we'll check that out We've got the multimedia here and you've got all your Harman Kardon um, sound system and you've got the equalizer here so you can adjust it all and if we come down we've got the dual climate control if we pop that on we've got heated seats either side I'm just going to read off of this so we've got the rear camera driving system folding mirrors we've mentioned speed info we've done that we've got wi-fi hotspot we've mentioned a few of the other things i'm just going to show you that we have got the books in here and we've got an, an extra usb down here and i believe this means that you can through bmw get the apple carplay linked onto this car as well you've got the different driving modes down there gear selection so when you press the driving modes you can change from an economy setting to a more balanced um, setting and then into the sport settings which will give you um, much more response on the throttle this car doesn't have the adaptive suspension so it won't adjust the suspension if we go into sport displays etc we then go into the map we can change the direction of travel on the map we can put it into perspective and then with the buttons down here we're going to put perspective on number eight you can actually save that screen there so going over to the left again if we then want to save in direction of travel we can save that on number seven and you can also save um, telephone numbers in there and a few other windows. Not all of the windows will save, but a lot of them will. We've got the cup holders down here. And uh, if we go into reverse, we've got the reverse camera. You'll see the parking sensor sharp. We've also got parking guidance lines and obstacles. 
So it'll show you in green, amber and red blocks how close you're getting to something behind. That's all there, stick it back into park. I think we've got the speed, let's come down here. So we've got the speed limiter, the cruise control, We've mentioned the mode button that changes the displays for the heads up display or the black panel, full back panel. We've got voice control. We've got high beam assist and the adaptive lights which are operated from this button here. Now we need the lights on for that. So we're gonna put them onto auto. Let's get focus. So basically the adaptive lights and the high beam assist, the adaptive lights are very clever. There's a camera situated up on the top here so that when you're driving down the road and you've got oncoming traffic, independently, the lights will move away from, from shining directly at the car and they will light up as much as the road. They'll spread the, the light um, to the left. Once the car's passed, it'll open up the headlights to show as much um, of the view in front, like lit up to the left and right and the high beam assist, you can have the headlight on to give you even more light on the, on the road. And then when the traffic comes, it'll automatically dip the headlight. Worth Googling, uh, that's a brief description of how it works, but it's very clever. When you're traveling down the motorway, I've used them before, and it'll light up, light up the road signs on the left, and you'll actually see them, the, the beam actually change when oncoming traffic comes. Very clever, very clever indeed. So. That's, um, I'm going to get out and show you underneath the bonnet. So it's two pulls to open the bonnet. So you don't have to fiddle around with uh, any latches underneath. So you can pull that straight up. So this is our six cylinder twin power turbo engine. These are 326 brake horsepower. They generally make a bit more than that if you put them on a, a rolling road. So BMW sort of understate the power of these engines. They usually give out closer to 335, 340, something like that. All of the engine bay has been cleaned by hand using WD-40, a nice safe product to use under the engine bay. Any leaves have been hoovered out, so they haven't been uh, mashed up and blocked the waterways. Very important not to just try and jet wash in there and create a mash of leaves which once you fill these this trough up back here you get heavy rain it can fill up and then enter the car through the holes that go through the bulkhead into the inside so lovely and clean under there as I say this car is going to go in for its service and uh, I will update the advert when I get chance once that's been done or give me a call and I'll be able to answer any questions on that. But a beautiful looking car, a little bit different to all the others on the road, a very nice color. I've had this car, uh, the, sorry, this color a couple of times on different models, not on a 440, mind you, or a four series for that matter. I've had it on the three series, but uh, these icon lights are, are lovely. Just probably a bit too strong for the camera. But a beautiful, beautiful looking car. Thank you for taking the time to uh, watch the video. I know they're quite long, but try and be as detailed as I can. Feeling a bit under the weather today, so if I've made a few mistakes, my apologies. So thank you for watching and look forward to speaking to you soon. Take care. Bye.